पाकिस्तान और दुनिया भर में देखने और सुनने वालों को अरशद शरीफ का सलाम टू ईयर्स सिंस जर्नलिस्ट अरशद शरीफ वाज किल्ड इन केन्या हिज फैमिली इन पाकिस्तान इज स्टिल फाइटिंग फॉर जस्टिस शरीफ अ टॉक शो होस्ट हु यूज्ड टू वर्क फॉर एआरवाई न्यूज़ इन पाकिस्तान वाज किल्ड व्हेन पुलिस एट अ रोड ब्लॉक शॉट एट हिज कार इन व्हाट केन्या सेज वाज अ केस ऑफ मिस्टेकन आइडेंटिटी बट हिज फैमिली सस्पेक्ट्स फाउल प्ले अपने किसी प्यारे को इस तरह गैर तबई व्हेन यू लूज अ लव्ड वन्स लाइफ टू एन अननेचुरल डेथ एंड हिज बुलेट रिडन बॉडी इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर आईज यू आर नॉट एबल टू फाथम व्हाई दिस हेल हैज ब्रोकन लूज ऑन यू आफ्टर अ चेंज इन गवर्नमेंट इन पाकिस्तान इन अप्रैल 2022 Sharif became a vocal critic of Pakistan's powerful military establishment. He fled the country in August 2022 after receiving threats and facing sedition charges. Sadiq believes that Sharif journalism made him a target. The UN in September called for Kenya and Pakistan to step up efforts to investigate the murder, citing a Pakistani government report that it was targeted assassination by transnational actors. Jab wo baat karte the dusra banda unko chup nahi kara. Nobody could silence him when he started to speak. He always had documents and money trails to prove a point, so he became a problem for the country's ruling class. Uski aankhon mein khatakne lagi. A Kenyan court ordered the state to pay damages for what it deemed illegal and unconstitutional use of deadly force against Sharif. Hearings in Pakistan into the case have been plagued by delays. Siddiq in October filed a petition to the Islamabad High Court requesting that a judicial commission investigate the killing. Uske baad se aaj tak jo hai when the case is not even moving forward, no court hearing is taking place. How and whom do I seek justice from? Pakistan ranks as the 12th worst country for securing justice in the killings of journalists. and the country has seen a rise in deadly violence against media this year with at least 6 deaths according to the committee to protect journalists there is a clear link in most cases between a rise in attacks on journalists and a worsening human rights or a rule of law situation in a particular in a country and and that's i think true of pakistan a lack of justice in these cases is a major threat to press freedom the watchdog says and more than a decade since the creation of the un's international day to end impunity nearly 80% of journalist killings worldwide remain unsolved for tabinda name sara zaman vo news